The IPL Governing Council held its first meeting today with its new chairman, Chirayu Amin, in command. But it was the suspended IPL chairman, Lalit Modi, and his various acts of financial misappropriation that dominated the agenda as the BCCI looked set to seal his fate. The BCCI top brass gather for yet another high-profile meeting since the suspension of the IPL chief, Lalit Modi. A meeting that lasted almost three hours. And given the exhaustive list of improprieties that Modi is accused of, it wasn't surprising that not a single member of the council defended him. Various problems that IPL has gone through were put forward. And uh, good decisions were taken. Uh, we found out also as to some irregularities, major irregularities that have been committed by the past chairman. One of those irregularities that Abdullah refers to are with regard to IPL's television rights, where Modi is believed to have pocketed a facilitation fee of 425 crore rupees for renegotiating the deal with marketing agency WSG and broadcaster Sony MSM. The BCCI, however, believes that the fee belongs to the board and has now demanded that Sony MSM pay it to the board, leaving the broadcaster with no choice but to recover the 125 crores it has already paid to WSG in order to pay the BCCI, with the promise that Sony MSM will pay the BCCI the remaining 300 crore rupees as part of the rights fee. The Governing Council also discussed Modi's transportation and Four Seasons hotel expenses, expenses that total over rupees 2 crores for just IPL3, a bill footed by the BCCI which it now wants to recover. The next big day will be July 3rd, a special general meeting of the BCCI where more action is expected against the former IPL chief. With Anjali Doshi in Mumbai, Shai Venkatraman for NDTV.